Hello everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, we look at the differences between the standard Jaguar air filter, the K&N aftermarket panel performance filter, and installing it on your car, particularly if it's an XK8. One of our subscribers, Nick Rose, hi Nick, um, was kind enough to watch the videos carefully and see the K&N sticker, and wanted to know what um, kit I'd got on my car. So I've got the uh, high flow air filter from K&N um, and the actual model number, there we go, is 332190. And for anybody unfamiliar with K&N filters, um, Unlike a standard filter, one of which I have here, this is uh, the original equipment, um, which is a paper folded element. Uh, it's folded to give a massive surface area and air has to travel through this paper in order to get into the top half of the box, which is here, and then enter the engine. So a very, very good system in terms of um, keeping the air clean. On the KN system, um, it uses a metal gauze mesh, the black, um, embedded in a rubber surround and trapped between the gauze is a piece of cotton. And this is our KN filter. You can see the metallic mesh and inside the folds of the metallic mesh is a piece of cotton. And the piece of cotton is actually white, but it's been dyed pink by oil because this is an oiled filter. This is the dirty side of the filter. And how it works, because this black mesh is too big to uh, strain out the rubbish, and the cotton inside, although it's, um, you know, it's not full of holes, the weave is at just a fraction too big to catch the fine particles it does its job by the cotton being uh, oiled and it's got this pink KN oil on it and you can wash these out basically you can buy a KN detergent and the cotton will start to appear white again and literally just uh, put some in a bucket give it a, a soak and you get all the crap off these and then you run a bead of the pink oil along the crests of these ridges and it sort of dyes the uh, cotton back again to this pink shade so that you know it's well oiled. And that captures all of the rubbish because now it's, it's attracted and sticks to the oil. So you can have a much more open weave um, filter than you could using a conventional filter and therefore increase airflow. If I hold it up to the light, you can literally see through it. There you go, it's looking at it. So it's much, much easier filter to breathe through. You compare that to the Jaguar standard filter. Um, first glance, you can't see anything. If you stay, you can just see the light starting to illuminate it. But yeah, totally different animal. Very, very effective at keeping rubbish out of your car. Not so good at letting it breathe. If you want to take your air filter out, um, you can do that by just releasing this Jubilee clip and the clips around the box and sort of jiggle things. But it's far easier actually if you remove the intake duct. And to do that, we've got two bolts, one 
here, which is eight mil. And another one here, which is eight mil. There you go, that's the two nuts off. Just remove the screw, the bolt, even the eight mil from there. And from there, so this is now loose. Come down this end. This little pipe can be screws. You squeeze the serrated part, give it a little jiggle, be careful, plastic, and pull that off. That comes off of the uh, cam cover. Then we've got, this is the mass airflow sensor. There's an electrical connector here and a little lever on it here. Squeeze that while pulling and the electrical connection comes off. I'm gonna mask it with my hands, sorry. There we go. Stay. Why are the wires not listening to me? And then you've just got this one hose clip here, which again, shouldn't be overly tight. Focus is a problem today. And once you loosen that, because the hose is loose at this end, you can just give the whole thing a little wriggle. And there is your induction pipe removed. Now, to remove the air box, there are five clips. One of them is difficult. The one is the one just down there at a shop, which is why it's actually a lot easier to um, remove the air pipe when you're doing this job. So, get my fingers down to that and flick it towards me and it unhooks. Then move you around to here. So another one. Although it's tight, it's relatively easy to see what you're doing. And again, get your fingers underneath. And swing that clip out of the way. Then we've just got the three on the front. And these ones are the same, so you can see how the others operate. You pull the bottom out and the top unhooks. It's just a toggle clamp. go and that's it now you've got the top of your air box can be removed what is evident with the K&N in is when you touch the throttle the pickup is quicker and you do get a little bit of induction roar from under the bonnet.
Well, folks, if you've enjoyed episode one of Tune and Maintain Your XK8, then remember to check out the Secrets of the XK8 playlist as well. You'll enjoy that series. Please subscribe to, to The Garage. Uh, give us a comment. Give us a thumbs up. Click the bell icon and you'll find out when each new episode comes out. 